Hey guys, we are headed to Arizona for spring break. Come follow along. Well, yesterday was a driving day, five and a half hours, which landed us in the middle of nowhere, Nevada. We were en route to Flagstaff today, but spent the night in a location off the highway. This is one of the free places that we found on Campendium. And it's not amazing, but it's everything we needed for just a night of rest. On to Flagstaff. After another long day of driving, we rolled in, it was almost nine o'clock at night, to a spot in the desert outside of Flagstaff. And this is probably pretty typical for the places we end up boondocking. We just need a place to stay. It's kind of high desert and there's a few other people out here, but we got a good night of rest and uh, we'll go play some more today. It just rained, the ground is pretty soft. We're slopping around a little bit, but no big deal. This is pretty much peak parental happiness when you get your kiddo enjoying single track and complaining that it's too easy. Love it. <laughs>
that are sticking out into the road pretty far. We are right past the body. Hey, good morning from just outside the Coconino National Forest. We're in Flagstaff, uh, Arizona area. And today we're, uh, well, actually we're just getting our day started. I have some coffee. A uh, child has uh, corrected me that she's not, she wants everyone to know she's not having coffee. She's having hot chocolate. So with that correction made, uh, we're gonna have some avocado toast this morning, which kind of cracks me up because I swear everyone with a van makes avocado toast. I don't know what it is, but this morning we're going to do it. So we got a nice spot last night. Um, like I said, we we're just on the outskirts of Flagstaff. We got a nice view of the Snowcap Mountains. And uh, today we're going to do stuff around the Flagstaff area. Uh, I wore through a set of bike disc brake pads yesterday, so that's no good. So Flagstaff luckily has plenty of bike shops to get parts. Do some hiking and see some stuff around here before we head south to Sedona. All right, later. Convertible sprinter.
Hey, good morning from Sedona. So we are in the Coconino National Forest. Um, we're out of a dirt road. Sedona is so busy right now. A town is just absolutely crazy. So we followed a line of RVs in and feel very lucky to have gotten a spot um, all by ourselves, which I'll show you in a little bit. So uh, Kokono National Forest, they have a great website uh, or on their website, they have uh, some maps that you can download of the National Forest area, the boundaries, and it'll locate yourself on the map. But the main thing is that it shows where you can uh, go to source camping. And that's fantastic because then there's no question about your legality. Uh, here in the Sedona area, unfortunately, the Forest Service has had to close a number of lands due to overuse and people not doing the right thing, leaving trash behind. and so don't do that because more of these areas are going to get closed and areas like this, it's just concentrating that many more people uh, into smaller areas, which obviously <clears throat> causes even more impact. So we were lucky, found a great spot. Uh, today we're going to do some mountain biking and hiking as usual and uh, enjoy the day. This is what we're waking up to this morning. Not half bad. So food-wise, I usually make up a list, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just so I know, especially when we're on the road, I can look at my list and see what's available to make without having to open my refrigerator and tear everything out just to decide what to make. So the list kind of helps not only with that, but with the grocery shopping. And I typically, depending on the trip, um, we're usually good for about eight to ten days and then we start to run out of fresh produce otherwise we could go longer um, but like today for lunch we're just making wraps with uh, honey ham spinach cucumber a little bit of ranch dressing and we typically do sandwiches quite a bit but anyway that's lunch now that is a shower with a view
Oh, you got it. You got it. Oh, nice riding, Kara. Oh, you did it. Nice job, Kara. that one you made that one tough actually is the color of the flower which is yeah <laughs> how, is, how did he balance it on there carefully i'm sure look at that oh, well done you got it i didn't even touch it do you want to see what's inside of course <laughs> pink grease is inside of a pink egg <laughs>
Well, after fighting 65 mile an hour wind gusts through western Nevada, we finally made it to Walker Lake, which you can probably see in the background. So we need to continue north up to Interstate 80, and then we'll go west uh, over the Tahoe Summit and down to the Sacramento Valley where we live. But this has been a great trip. Um, Sedona is beautiful. Flagstaff has just some fantastic hiking and mountain biking. Definitely highlights of the trip were watching my daughter um, excel at, at riding some pretty complicated terrain. She's never ridden a uh, single track that narrow and with so many obstacles and loose rock and she absolutely killed it and proud of her. But uh, anyway, as always, we appreciate you guys following along and we'll see you next time.